In this shoe last maker update, I'd like to introduce a new kind of shoe last. It's a ankle height orthopedic shoe last. It's essentially the same as the uh, other shoe lasts, except that it has this ankle section built in. Now this section can be edited uh, in two different uh, views. First, uh, by selecting this, uh, the top curve, you're able to um, adjust the, the width and the length of the uh, ellipse forming this top surface as well as uh, the forward and medial offsets of that position and you can also see the uh, the girth measurement here um, but you, of course you can't edit that uh, that measurement is uh, updated depending on what you're choosing for the length and the width of the ellipse section and you can also edit the height of the section by coming to the profile view by choosing the, the profile, the dorsal profile curve, and here you can change the, the height of the section. So we're, if we're at 39.1, uh, you go up to 45, and you can see that curve updates. And we hit the end edit, and you can see we have a taller ankle section now. Ideally, this uh, top curve uh, could correspond with the narrowest part of the ankle above the malleolus bones, whereas the, uh, the last top curve here could correspond with uh, what's commonly measured as the ankle girth passing through the medial malleolus uh, in parallel to the XY plane. In addition to this parametric adjustment, all the usual functionality is also possible with this ankle height orthopedic shoe last, such as you can grade it to any given size, and you can draw patterns and morph those patterns from one shoe last to another one so that you don't have to design them every time to save time and you can uh, flatten those patterns and uh, one particular feature uh, that would be used for this type of shoe last is to trim uh, the bottom surface by an orthotic or insert surface to, such that it gives it a foot shaped bottom and the way you do this is uh, let's start off with a, a new build here and then for the last toe template we'll choose a uh, an orthopedic shoe last. You could choose any toe style you want but uh, we'll just choose the same template there that we're using for the body which is uh, the orthopedic shoe last here and then for the insert template you choose one the, any template that has an insert, uh, preferably a full length insert in it. And then uh, you can choose the, uh, the index, uh, which is an index system, something I explained in the previous tutorial uh, for the size you want to build. And of course, if you're considering a, a, a custom or, or a bespoke shoe uh, last, then you're going to be uh, looking into the allowances down here. Hit the build button. And there you have uh, the shoe last along with uh, the in top, top edge of the insert you can see there. Uh, note that on the build form you could also set the, the depth of the, uh, the insert surface, but of course you can get to that via the adjust menu uh, for the room for inserts as well as the insert depth. And now if you want to actually see what the last looks like when you trim the bottom surface to get that foot shape surface, you can go to the options and trim the last by the insert and hit the rebuild button. And now you can see what that would look like. And of course all these curves are parametrically adjustable as I explained in my previous tutorial on insert surfaces. And now if you want to actually see what the volume works uh, looks like here for uh, that insert surface or orthotic surface, uh, you're going to go to Options and choose to build the insert body. Now when you're doing the actual design process, it's best to leave this off because it really can slow it down quite a bit building this insert body. It's a lot of uh, Boolean operations going on there. And so hit the Rebuild button. Takes a bit longer, as I mentioned, uh, but there it is. And you can notice that 
it's uh, it's offset. Uh, both the top surface is offset down, and the walls are offset in. Uh, we can turn those offsets off uh, by or, or or decrease them rather by going to the adjust material thicknesses, insert wall offset, and top cover thickness. And if you put those both down to zero, hit the rebuild. And there it is there. Now you can just uh, move that out of the way just so you can have a look at that. It's something that can be manufactured separately than from the shoe last. You can also use clipping planes to see what the cross sections look like all along the entire length. And of course, if you had been if you had imported a foot into this uh, design session, you'd be able to see the, the cross section of the foot at the same time here. Oh, uh, see its relationship to both the shoe last and the orthotic surface. So that's uh, it for this uh, quick update. Um, I hope to build uh, more functionality into Shoe Last Maker for working with orthopedic shoe lasts. So if you have any suggestions for any features you'd like added, uh, please let me know. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.